How's it going, everyone? ND Sean 45 coming at you. I'm going to try to be as brief as I can with this recap because I am freaking tired. Long drive back home, a long day, but it was a blast out in South Bend today, nonetheless. So, getting right into it. This one today got off to a little bit of a rocky start. Uh, couldn't really get anything off going offensively early on. And Navy, on their first first drive of the game, take it 70, 70 yards or so down the field in three plays for the go-ahead touchdown. And I'm sitting there in the stands thinking, oh boy, long day ahead for our defense. Which, through the first half, it kind of was. Um, but things got things turned around for the better. We got our offense going, and at one point it was a 21 to 7 Notre Dame lead. Um, but then that at the end of the first half got kind of interesting. Uh, Navy uh, got a touchdown as a result of a turnover by a, a Deshaun Kaiser interception. And on that inter interception, I don't know who Deshaun was, what he was trying to do, or who he was trying to throw to, but he had a couple of better options downfield. Um, but instead he throws to the out to the side to a guy who was double covered. I don't get that, but whatever doesn't matter now. Um, but the defense, I'm not gonna lie. Even though I expected a lot of the things that I said in my preview today, like chop blocks and a lot of fullback dives and whatnot, it was concerning to see that uh, our defense was having a lot of trouble stopping that. Um, which Again, you know, when you're facing an, op an option team like Navy, who does a lot of chop blocking, you're going to get that. So I, I shouldn't really be that surprised. But at the same time, like I said, I can't help but be a little concerned about some of that. I mean, when you're seeing a, a fullback dive go 40-plus uh, yards for a touchdown, that's very concerning no matter who you're playing against. Uh, so still, there's some things even at this point in the season that we have to get better at. But... I can't be too hard on the on the defense because in the second half they did a great job turning things around and stepping their game up. They held Navy to only three points in the, in the second half, um, and uh, you know it got started with uh, Navy fumbling on the opening or the, the second half uh, kickoff and us getting the quick touchdown score and that was nice to see. So that that turned the whole game around completely. Um, offensively. Uh, did did fairly well. Deshaun Kaiser, despite his one inter interception, had a nice day passing. 20 of 27, 265 yards and one touchdown. Will Fuller being the recipient of that touchdown. C.J. Procise, he continues to tear it up, uh, with the exception of uh, of last week. Um, 115 yards on the ground, three touchdowns. Um, and on a, on a, a, a note that I got to give uh, some credit to, our freshman kicker, Justin Yoon. He continues to improve and improve and improve, and I love seeing that. Um, not missing his extra points, and at the end of the first half, he nailed a 52-yarder, which is uh, beautiful. So it's nice to see the improvement out of him especially, because he was struggling for, through the first couple of games. Um, so overall, uh, I, would, I wouldn't say this was a bad performance. I mean, like I said in the preview, Navy is a, a tricky and feisty team, and... Um, you know, so to to get out of there, uh, you know, injury free and with the victory is always a good thing. So, um, so yeah, I mean, aside from the few mistakes we did make, I thought we played pretty well. Um, and just you know, we just have to continue to keep getting better. Um, you know, we got the USC Trojans in here coming or coming in here next week, but I'll save that for for the preview for that game. But overall. Anytime uh, you come out of there with a victory, it's always a great day, always a call for celebration. And so, yeah, guys, that's really all I have for you. So with that said, as always, this is ND Sean 45 signing off. I say to all of you, God bless. And as always, go Irish, baby.